For today's devotional, we want to talk about the right foundation and talk about it from Isaiah chapter 28, verses 16 and 17. Ready? Here we go. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not act hastily. Also, I will make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plummet. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters will overflow the hiding place. Now, Isaiah chapter 28 is an amazing chapter. It begins as a rebuke to the drunkards of Israel, and it continues as a confrontation of the leaders of Israel. These men hid in their covenant of death and in their refuge of lies. And in response to such wickedness, God laid out a different plan. He laid out his plan. That's why God said, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation. In contrast to the weak, narrow foundation of the wicked, they said things like this, We have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. That's in verse 15 of Isaiah 28. God has a solid foundation for our life. He has a stone for a foundation. What is this foundation? Well, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 6 applied this passage directly to the Messiah, Jesus Christ. He is the foundation for our lives. And only with a secure, stable foundation can anything lasting be built. Anything added on to the house, not built upon the foundation, is sure to end up in wreckage. Who lays this stone? Well, God said, Behold, I lay in Zion. Therefore, it's God's work. We are unable to provide the right kind of foundation for our lives, but God can lay a foundation for us. We are asked to behold God's foundation, to appreciate it, to wonder at it, to value it, and to build our lives upon it. You see, the more you look at it, the better it is. You see that it's a tried stone, that is, it's tested. And our Messiah was tried, he was tested, and he was proven to be the glorious, obedient Son of God in all things. You look again and you see that it is a precious cornerstone. Our Messiah is precious, and he's a cornerstone. You know, the cornerstone provides the lines, the patterns for all the rest of the construction. The cornerstone is straight, and it's true. And everything in the entire building lines up in reference to the cornerstone. Finally, you see, that it's a sure foundation. Our Messiah is a sure foundation, and we can build everything on Jesus Christ without fear. Now, since God used the picture of building with the image of a stone for a foundation, he continued on with that theme. He would make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plummet. You see, in God's building, it isn't just as if he establishes the cornerstone and then walks away and allows the building to be built just any way that someone pleases to build it. No, God keeps the building straight. He keeps it straight with justice and with righteousness. And anyone not built upon this foundation will come to tragedy. As Isaiah said, the hail will sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters will overflow the hiding place. The ungodly leaders of Jerusalem made lies their refuge and found a hiding place under falsehood. Again, that's in verse 15 of Isaiah 28. But the storms of life, the storms of God's judgment would sweep away their refuge of lies and their hiding place. They had built on the wrong foundation and they would therefore see destruction. It might be that Jesus had this very passage in mind when he spoke the words of Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 27. Well, listen, let's take the lesson of that, both in Isaiah and in Matthew. Don't be like the foolish man. Build your life on the sure foundation. And if your life is built on that sure foundation, then thank Jesus for it and enjoy the security of that. Enjoy it today.